Hi, I'm Seth Weil, owner of Seth Weil Academy in Chico, California, and today we're going to be discussing the straight lead. So today we're going to be going over the straight lead punch. Before we do this, we're going to start off with the stance. Um, the stance is basically the foundation of every technique. Generally in Jeet Kune Do, we uh, use the strong side forward. So in this case, Mike is right-handed. He's going to have his right foot forward. And you want your feet a little bit wider and shoulders width apart. You want to have your rear heel slightly up off the ground, about a half inch to an inch off the ground. And your lead foot, the heel can be uh, planted. Your hands are in the center lined up, occupying what we call center line here. And the rear uh, hand is basically right in front of the face. And the lead hand is halfway to the target with the elbow on that lead arm being about a fist distance between uh, your elbow and your body. Let's cover just the, the footwork part of it first. So you're pushing off that back foot slightly and shifting that weight forward. He's gonna put his hip and his lead shoulder facing towards where the target is gonna be going. From here, I'm just gonna have Mike just push off and just shift that body going forward. As you can see, from his fist to his rear shoulders in a nice straight line. Then from here, once that hand's straight out, he's gonna pull his elbow straight back in and slightly twist his body uh, back to the original starting position. Even though we're not moving, the footwork is that slight push off. So even the slightest movement is considered footwork when we discuss even something as basic as the stance. So here we're gonna be doing the uh, striking the focus mitt. And when you're hitting, you wanna think of going roughly two to three inches going past the target. And if I'm in too close, He's not able to fully extend. He's actually gonna be jamming his punch. Mike wants to stay nice and nice and relaxed and those knees are bent. You don't wanna tense up too much. This is gonna make his punch slower. If his delts get real, real tight, he's gonna end up pushing the, the uh, punch through. And what we really wanna get is that snap or more of a whip where that hand comes straight out and comes straight back in. And by doing this, it allows you to always throw a second strike. So from here, Mike can double up on it. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you'd like to learn more, check us out at martialartschico.com.